What's up? You. Alright, there, go, there goes my camera. It was acting weird there. So, what's up, YouTube? This is King Beast Kyle here coming at you with another One Piece review. And what I have for you is 919. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, we're still at Wano currently. And, you know, Luffy's waving to um, Speed because Otom. He's waving to Speed because to take care of Otama while he goes visits where. Etc. So, and then he's like waving, he's like, take care of her. And she was like, I'll never forget the apple when the water you gave me. And he was like, alright. Uh, so they're talking, and, says, and she says, I'll give an apple to Master too. He said, yeah, tell Grandpa knows I said hi. <laughs> well, bring your dog back too, I promise. Also, keep, can I keep a little longer without the, this katana? I can't be a samurai. You still haven't used it. Let me see it seriously. Zoro trying to like, let me see that sword. You know, if like Luffy tries to give it back, Zoro just yank it out of his hand. And this is Zoro. Zoro is gonna be Zoro. All right, here we go. All right. Just waiting for the thing to run. All right. I'm sorry, technical difficulties. I was dealing with some technical difficulties. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Let me just get back to where I was. No, I don't want that. I want this. No, I don't want that. I'm gonna go to a different freaking website. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so, sorry, I was back where I was, I was, this phone was being dumb, so, you know, she's waving Luffy, say bye, and speed, and her take off, and Luffy's like, see you later, Tama, let's, and Luffy's like, and so, um, he said, let's go, I guess she didn't use her dongu to make you into her servant, huh, woof, and they still got the dog thing, Luffy, Luffy Toro, you know, a couple kids saying his name, alright, it says thank you for the all the people around Wano and man this this scene is really heartwarming. He's like thank you for the treasure ship. That's really, really heartwarming. I wish I could show you, but again, you know what? And you know, Luffy's like, hey guys, welcome. And there's Law. He's talking about I think about the thing they were talking about in the last chapter. I just like how like Luffy's in cheery mood. Law's just looking down. He's just like yeah. So that's that. And then we go with the next page. Again, I'm reading off the phone, so. So, Flower Capital. Now then. Okay, so now they're at the Flower Capital. Now then, what is it? I know, teacher, closing the doors of the cross and protecting its peace. It looks like we're. You know, like. It looks like we're in, like, a some other place in Wano, because I don't see any familiar people, it's just... This open country, I know, a very bad thing that invites bad people and ideas. People from foreign countries will want this, these things in Wano it is. Yes, in fact, some fools try to do that very thing to this country. Odin and the Nine Red Sheets. Oh! Oh, okay, I'm sorry for the, um, less brightness, but... Dang! So that's why they're presumed dead. Mmm. It's getting juicy. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be right back. I don't want you guys to see that stare of darkness. I'll be and I am back. So let's get back into this chapter review. Alright, so my my I didn't ask for an answer, did I? Yeah, there it is. I did not wish to hear those names. At any rate, that was 20 years ago. So the girls explained that that the Odin and the Red Sheaths were bad people, had bad reputation in Wano over 20 years ago. For a hero appeared who vanquished those bad, bad samurai. And people said, the Shogun, Ochiro Kurozumi. And some kid whacked another kid on the head. Like, ow. 
Yes, indeed. 20 years ago, all those bad people died, and Wando became what it is today, a peaceful country. That's ironic, because in somewhere else it's not so peaceful. Well, now it is, actually, because of Luke. Good Lord Ochiro, you... Or Oroch, you coward. Kishiro, please. And such a loud voice. Shara, what? They were making some weird noises. Calm yourself, it doesn't matter if anyone heard me. I spoke the truth. 20 years ago, Odin's wife spoke. Before she died, she spoke. The Korozumi clan. I can't read that. Money exchange shop. Kishiro Imirui. Whoever that is. The light of the moon knows not the break of dawn. Heavens, hear me, for I pray. Cast nine shadows across the moonlight nights for 20 years and know the bright of dawn. I think, uh, no, their clan, the Odin stuff, I think that, 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 um, that's their, like, somewhere. I don't, don't know. So, let's see what goes on in that. Oh, we're back where Robin is. Oh, okay, okay. Ahaha, <laughs> her desperate curse. Shogun Orochi saw through it. What did he see? Oh, yeah, he, here's what he understood. In 20 years on a moonlight night, to take their revenge, nine samurai will appear to kill you. He's speaking to some guy. Wow. Dang, this is getting deep. You know, about Odin and Monosuke and, you know, all of them. This is getting deep. And they will open Wano's borders. This is the year the 20th. Oh, has this been some of my prophecy shit? Oh, this is getting deep. So this guy, like, I can know how to explain him. Like, you can go read the chapter for yourself online. I really couldn't read his name, but I'm assuming he's allied with um, Kanaimon and them, and Odin, and he's speaking off their names and stuff. That's why Shogun Orochi's so scared. He's terrified the ghost of the Koz the Kozuki clan will come for his head. Yeah, I love to cross the cross blades with them. What can the dead do? Twenty years ago, every last Kozuki samurai was driven to the castle and burned alive. All but nine or seven. So Luffy and them arrived somewhere. I can't read it. Oh, they they arrive at the castle. Okay, you know with their law and they're with the tombstones. He's like, Luffy's freaking out. I was like, wait, are these guys dead? No, he's really freaking out. And, and he's like, Okiko and, and stuff. So, mom wants her phone back, so I'm trying to finish it up quickly. Well, I only have a couple pages to go. Okay, and so we're here again. He's and Luffy's like, where's Kanaimon? I thought he was waiting here. He's gone. He's been for a while. He, but he may come out at night. So there's the so Chicago Law is explained like he might come out at night and like Luffy's like, another ghost? Spit it out. Does something hard to talk about happen? So he, Luffy's freaking out. What, like, you know, what's happening? You know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to speed things up a little bit. Oh, Luffy, you're, I'm so glad you're safe. Forgive me for not even coming to meet you. Yay! Command of mine comes back. Ken, you're so you're okay. So, see, they are alive, Traffy. I never said they were dead. I thought he'd come out of the toilet at night. Quit telling me ghost stories, then. Who goes there? Oh, someone spoke from the cave. Lord Ken, what? You have returned. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Kiku just hugged Ken I mine. This changes everything. Kiku, why are you with them? You didn't let me know you'd return. I was so worried how I love for you. Is Lord Manosuke alright too? Huh? They know each other? They definitely know each other. Wait, Lord Ken, don't tell me these men. I don't know what, or what to start with, but Kiku, these men are like are our friends, and they're quite strong. Boy, Luffy, me too. So they're coming out, you know, Marusuke, you know, who? So they come back. Uh, I think blank page. 
Here we go, okay. Look. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Sure, it took you guys long enough. Luchigaru, we went looking for you down to see what we found your Vivari card. Oh, the gang's back together! Oh my god, all of them are back together. Brooke, um, Nami, the Chopper, and Sanji, they're all back together, yes. We found the Vivari card so we knew you were alive, but... You know, they're talking about, and you know, like, etc, etc. Oh, hey, how is Beth, though? You can't come out of the forest, do you? <laughs> Beth, got diarrhea. <laughs> all of you, so let's talk inside. We brought safe food from Stolen Plantation. You stole it? Oh, so they're all back together, yes! And of course, Robin's still somewhere. And, like, Frankie and Usopp, they're still somewhere. So, all, like, almost all the gang's back together. Let's get it. Okay, here we go. You guys keep too many secrets. Just tell everybody... Just tell everything. Stop being so distant. You're right. But this story, even if it's told, is quite hard to believe. The three of us here before you, as well as Conjuro and Rizzo, all the other five of us, we hail from the past. What? It's true. It is. We were sent here through a time from the Wano country of 20 years ago. What? So, that's about it. You know, not, not a lot happened in this chapter. Of course, the group is back together. That was big. You know. And that's it. That's in the end of the chapter. Is it the end of the chapter? If that is in, so... Hang on. So that was it. So let me know what you guys thought of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. And subscribe for more content like this. I'm sorry this was rushed. My mom wanted her phone back. But anyway, see you guys next time.